Hi everyone, to the bone, this is Darcy and the video today is a little different. I'm actually going to share a DIY recipe with you guys that I used to love and used to work for me amazing from an almond face mask. It is a recipe I've used in the past with great results for brightening and smoothing and anti-wrinkling. However, when I was shooting this video, when I washed up my face, my face was very red. I developed some sort of allergic reaction to almonds and I was not going to post this video because I only post things on my channel that actually work for me. However, this recipe always worked for me and I'm only posting it because it goes to show that you can develop allergies later in life. So a patch test is very important and we'll talk about how to do it in this video. I shot the video about 30 minutes ago. I did, uh, I was red after I've done, I was done with the recipe, but then I did my oatmeal face mask and now my face is no longer red. As you can see, my neck's no longer red. I am now I mean, the allergic reaction has subsided. I wanna make sure to disclose this to you guys so you can learn two things from this video. One, always do a patch test, but the other good lesson that I have on this video is that if you do develop an allergic reaction, to always do my holy grail face mask, which is the oatmeal face mask. So those are the two things I wanna make sure to tell you on the video before you try this recipe. But I would not post this recipe on my channel if it was not a good recipe. Now, let me show you how to make it. All you're gonna need is two tablespoons of almond powder, one tablespoon of powdered milk, and two teaspoons of water. Make sure to remove all your makeup and wash your face. Apply all over the face, even the eye area. Now that I finished applying the mask, leave it on for 15 minutes and then remove it with lukewarm water followed by a moisturizer. I'll be right back to show you the results. I just washed my face and something really strange happened. I'm red and this mask never made me red. And another strange thing is that a little bit of this mask fell on my neck. And as you guys can see how red and strangely like rashy is looking. But I wanted to come back and show you guys this because I was not allergic to this mask before and now I became, which goes to show people can acquire new allergies as they get older. So that's why I stress that it's very important to do a patch test, even for things that you are not allergic to, like this mask. I always had re good results with this mask. You can look online, there's a lot of other great recipes with almond powder that give skin brightness and is really good for your face. But unfortunately, nuts can be an allergen to anybody. So, and that goes to show, I just became allergic to it. So now I'm not gonna continue using this mask anymore. And I highly suggest if you try this recipe or any recipe, not just this one, always do a patch test, which is so simple to do. Just put a little bit of any mask or any new products on your neck, wait 20 minutes, wash, look at the area. If it looks like this, like rashy and strange looking, don't put it in your face. Wait 24 hours, see how your skin feels the next day, and then if it's still red, or don't use it, because that means you may have an allergic reaction. So feel free to try it, do a patch test first, and then if you get re good results, use it, but always be careful, guys, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.